Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last three decades plus of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestion of ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing and regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while that may seem like a miracle to some folks, this renewing system is really nothing more than just the way the body works. And welcome to the Bright Side. Once again, friends, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We've got lines open for you on our call-in stack at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products business, health challenges you or a loved one may be, may be dealing with, formulations, ingredients, our true skin health products, or if you just want to say hello, contribute to the conversation, we love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase your Javi products, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $30 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Call 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real live person or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And then if you want to take a look at our True Skin Health products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I've been formulating skin products, skin health products for now 38 years. Can't even believe that. 38 years ago, I developed my first products working for the Blistex Corporation, and then I started a compounding pharmacy when I graduated pharmacy school and developed skin products for people who had burns and cuts and scrapes and moms whose kids had fallen off their bikes and people who had severe psoriasis or acne or pre-surgical or post-surgical scarring and I discovered a thing or two about how you create skincare products for healing and as it turns out when you heal the skin you beautify the skin that's a theme of uh, how I formulate that's one of the themes I formulate with is that health is beauty that's the basic concept we live in a superficial world where we put makeup on and Botox on and we pretend that we're healthy we make the skin look like we're healthy. We simulate health. But why should we have to simulate health when we can actually enhance or stimulate health? And that's really what my True Skin Health products are all about. High concentrations of fat-soluble vitamin C as well as retinol, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want because you shouldn't have to pay for anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our True Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. I'll be doing a talk at my Truth Treatments lab on the... 29th of February. Uh, that's 2240 Curtis Street, Denver, Colorado, 80205. The 29th of February, 2020 is the year for you guys listening in the future. February 29th, 2020. We'll do it. We'll start at 11 a.m. We usually go to about 1 o'clock or so. And we'll talk longevity. We'll talk the longevity business. We'll answer questions. And we also will give away free product to everybody who attends. That's this, uh, this February 29th. 2020, 2240 Curtis Street, Denver, Colorado, 80205. And if you are in the Colorado area, please come by the Journey Church in Longmont, Colorado, this Friday. I'm sorry, this Saturday, February 15th. 2020, this uh, Saturday, uh, this Saturday, February 15th, 2020, I'll be going, I'll be going on around 10 o'clock, around noon, but it starts, the event starts at 10 o'clock, and you might want to get there early because there's all kinds of fun stuff, entertaining stuff, educational stuff, 
uh, information and uh, techniques for selling the, the longevity products. We'll be talking, I'll be talking about the mind-body connection. I'll also be talking about skin. It's kind of, it'll be an extension of what we talk about here on this program. I don't always get to go as in-depth as I'd like on the program when I want to talk about, uh, when I'm talking about health, but I will be going in-depth uh, this Saturday at Super Saturday, Tom Chennault Super Saturday at the Journey Church, 2000 Pike Road, Unit A, Longmont, Colorado, 80501. Hope to see you there. All right, so we're talking skin health and we're talking mental health. They go together. All health is really a function, at least partially a function of mental health. And that's a very important point for us in the healthcare business. For you guys listening, if you're doing longevity or you're working with nutrition, I'm not underestimating the power of nutrition. But I just don't think it's, uh, I don't think it serves us to underestimate the power of the mind body connection, our beliefs and our expectations, our conditioning, our programming. All that takes shape as the physical body. Candace Pert, your body is your subconscious mind. Candace Pert was a scientist from the National Institute of Health. She's discovered the molecule, what she calls the molecules of emotion, peptides that are associated with how we feel, linked to how we feel for better or worse. And she said our body shows up as a result of what's going on in our subconscious mind. That is the thoughts we're thinking without knowing we're thinking. Human, uh, human beings think about 80 thoughts a day. That's the estimate that comes out to about one or two thoughts a second. And these one or two thoughts a second affect our bodies. And the problem with these one or two thoughts a second is these one or two thoughts a second are oftentimes unconscious, subconscious. We're not aware of them. We're not aware of our thoughts. That means we're not aware of our, how our body is showing up as a, a result of those thoughts, and we lose power. We lose leverage. Leverage means a small move gives you a big result. And leverage, a, a power over your minds or, or, or power over the mind or learning to control thoughts gives you a lot of leverage. It gives you power. Don't un We underestimate the power of thought at our peril. And we underestimate the power of emotion, emotion, uh, at our own peril also. A thought or an emotion, and thoughts and emotion are two sides of the same coin. A thought is really, or an emotion is really a description of a feeling. An emotion is really uh, the way we think about a feeling. Sometimes people get confused about the difference between emotions and feelings. Emotion is not a feeling. A feeling is somatic. It's in the body. It's a tingle. Most feelings are tingles. I'm not talking about pain. I'm not talking about when you break a bone. I'm talking about just what we call feelings. Most of our feelings are tingles, and then we label those tingles with a thought. An emotion is the bridge between a thought and a feeling. And thoughts and emotions always activate, always do something to the physical body. First at the quantum level, and then at the chemical level via hormones, and at the physical level with what we can see. That's why learning to understand or, power, uh, or have leverage or have power over thoughts is really important. Thoughts are medicine. It's the best medicine. In pharmaceutical research, they have to filter out thoughts. They call it the placebo effect. The placebo effect is how you think about the medicine. And if you think the medicine is going to work, it's going to work. Or at least the, the odds of it working are going to be higher. That's why they have to eliminate that. They can't have you thinking about the medicine. In fact, they can't even have the administrator of the medicine think about the medicine because if the administrator thinks about the medicine, if the administrator of the sugar pill thinks it's going to work or not work, that's going to affect the patient. That's how powerful this so-called placebo effect is. For anybody out there who thinks mind-body is airy-fairy or doesn't work, just study the placebo effect. I say, why are we filtering out the placebo effect? Why don't we use the placebo effect? Why don't we take advantage of the fact that our belief systems can control the power of our medicine? People who believe their chemotherapy is going to work have better results from chemotherapy. So why don't we start leveraging or taking advantage of the placebo effect? And speaking of the mind and speaking of the placebo effect and speaking of the power that the mind has over the body, Meditation is an incredibly valuable and important tool when it comes to health. Anybody out there who thinks meditation is silly or airy-fairy or, or, or Buddhism or, spirit or, or you have to be spiritual, it can help you with spirituality. But you don't have to use it, meditation for spirituality. You can, meditation, you can use meditation to address your thoughts. You can use meditation to address your skin diseases. You can use meditation to address your cancer, your heart disease, or diabetes, or anything else. This is Ben, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back. 
back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page, which is searchable. We've got uh, nine plus years of programs up at ben, uh, brightsideben.com. And we have a search engine at brightsideben.com, so you can review subjects or review shows. Or if you have a friend or a loved one who needs help with something, just send them over to brightsideben.com and click uh, and just uh, search and um, punch into the search engine whatever subject you want to, you want my take on. Coronavirus, psoriasis, eczema, acne, meditation. Got nine plus years of archives, and uh, also the longevity products are up at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Got our moments of truth up at criticalhealthnews.com. I do a, a 60 to 90 second video every day on a subject uh, that's interesting to me or something I may have read about. Today I did one on sugar metabolism. Yesterday I did one on the mind body connection. And uh, if you want to check out our Moments of Truth, you can check them all out at criticalhealthnews.com as well as our Facebook page, which is The Bright Side with Pharmacist Ben. And if you follow us on our Facebook page, you'll get notified. And we post there regularly. Thank you, Nasima, for setting that up. Also, I want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and our various and assorted health products at truthnourishment.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting that up. And don't forget to take a look at my blog at pharmacistben.com. Got all kinds of health information on the net. I, I started doing stuff on the internet about 10 years ago. I just thought the internet would be a perfect place to express myself and, and share some of the things I've learned over the last, well, with the time, 20 so, 20 plus years, now 30 plus years of practicing pharmacy. I've learned a lot of stuff about the skin and about nutrition. I made it my passion and I made it my love to understand the body and to understand health and to understand healing. And I've been really fascinated with biochemistry in the body since I first learned about, since I first got into biochemistry. That's really when uh, I just developed this passion for how the body works from a biochemical level. It's just so mind-blowing and so fascinating to me. When I first got, took my first biochemistry course in, in pharmacy school, I was hooked. And I became a lover of biochemistry and a lover of the human body. And then about maybe 15 or 20 years ago, literally the body said something to me. The, the collective body said, you have loved the body for so long, Ben. We're going to let you tell the story of the body. And that's what I've done ever since, is I've told the story of the body. That's what this program is about, is telling the story of the body. Not just the physical body, but the mental body and the emotional body and even the spiritual body. All the ways that we interact with the world. The body, the physical body is how we act with the, interact with the physical world. Our mental body is how we interact with the mental world. Our emotional body is how we act, interact with the emotional world. And our spiritual body is how we interact with the spiritual world. And when I say spirit, I'm not really talking about religion. I'm talking about the inner essence that controls our physicality. This, this, just if you want to know what spirituality is, just think of who you are. In fact, one of the one of the great yogis of all time said that if you want to instantly become enlightened or instantly become spiritual, just keep asking yourself who you are or what you are. This is a great mystery. What is it that we really are beneath our identities? We're not a man. We're not a woman. We're not Joe or Sam or Ben. We're not a physical body. If you cut your arm off, you're still you. If you cut two arms off, you're still you. If you cut two arms off and two legs off, you're still you. If you cut two arms off and two legs off and you go blind, you're still you. The body is not us. If the body is not us, what the heck is us? And you know, that's not really an answerable question, but just to ask the question enough, you'll find yourselves digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And this is what it means to become spiritual, to go, to go deeper and deeper and deeper behind what shows up physically. Now, if you really want to be powerful from a health perspective, you want to maximize, I should say. You could be healthy by just being physical, but if you want to maximize your health, you want to approach health at all the levels, including the invisible levels, which is what mentality is. And this is why meditation is so important. Ordinarily, in our day-to-day -day lives, we focus outward. We focus on our environment. We focus our, on our outward, on our environment. This tends to put us into what's called a beta brainwave state. And this beta brainwave state is good for problem solving. It's good for day-to-day -day life. But it's a very scattered energy. It's a, it's a very, I shouldn't say scattered, it's a very rapid energy. It takes a lot of work to be in beta state. But when you turn your energy inward, this is why focusing on a body part, which I've always said is a perfect way to, to fall asleep or to relax the body, just focusing on a body part, you're starting to turn yourself inward. Even better than focusing on a body part is focusing on your mind, focusing on your thoughts. You're gonna, most people will find it, diff, it 
incredibly difficult to focus on a thought for, or focus on thoughts for more than five or ten seconds. But there's a distinction between focusing on the thinking process, focusing on the thought process, and f and thinking itself. When you think itself, you go. When you think by itself, you go on into this rabbit hole until you forget you even exist. You're just always you're focusing on thinking. And this is why we can't sleep, because we're, we're thinking so much. But when we focus on the thought process, where does the thought come from? Where does it go? What the heck is a thought anyway? Who is doing the thinking? Or what is doing the thinking? All of these questions, by simply asking them, you will find yourself going into a meditative state. And this isn't just about meditating and, and zoning off. This is about lowering your blood pressure. This is about supporting your immune system. This is about reducing inflammation. This is about improving healing of broken bones and, and post-surgical trauma. All of these mechanisms that we're talking about that involve mentality and emotion are about making your body better, making your physical body better. And the beautiful thing about using thoughts and emotions to make your physical body better is not only is it effective and does it work, not only can you do it from the comfort of your own living room or bedroom or home, not only can you become your own health authority, but you don't have to deal with any toxicity. There's no health challenge, there's no health uh, procedure, di uh, drugs or surgeries that, aren't go that are not going to come along with a certain amount of toxicity. The medical model's got procedures for dealing with health challenges, but they all have a, a certain amount of toxicity. On the other hand, when you take the ball into your own court and become your own health authority and use thought control or emotion control or understanding your thoughts or understanding your emotions or using meditation or using beliefs, you have zero toxicity. And we know that our beliefs control our body. That's the prime lesson of quantum mechanics. We live in this chemocentric world where everything's about chemistry. Nutrition is really about chemistry when you talk about nutrition. But underneath chemistry, you have quantum. And we've talked about quantum a lot on this program, and for good reason. The quantum world is very, very, very responsive to our thoughts. And that's probably the prime lesson, prime lesson of quantum mechanics, is through our consciousness we control the pixels, the quanta, that make up our reality. Our reality is kind of like on a screen, and the pixels are the quantum particles. The quantum particles move around based on how we think and feel. That means our world shows up based on how we think and feel. And if you don't believe in this idea that we attract our reality or even create our reality, then you don't believe in quantum mechanics. The most powerful, reproducible, or reprodu reproduced, scientifically useful and accurate and true understanding of reality that was ever developed. If you do not believe that you control your reality or have an impact on your reality, then you don't understand quantum mechanics. You don't understand electromagnetics because that's quantum mechanics and the law of attraction is nothing more than quantum, uh, quantum mechanics and electromagnetics, the most important and powerful forces in the universe. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844. This should be so inspiring to anybody who's dealing with a health challenge. This should be so inspiring to everybody. The idea that we have control over our lives. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844, or we have control over how we perceive our lives. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okie doke, we are back. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben, and we've got lines open, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, health challenges your loved one may be dealing with, or if you simply want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm going to be doing a talk at the Journey Church in Lawmont, Colorado, for my friend Tom Chenault this uh, this uh, da, 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 this Saturday, February 15th, 2020, at the Journey Church in Lawmont, Colorado. Hope to see you there. We'll be talking about the longevity products and the longevity business. I'll probably hit the whole mind-body subject, which is something I've been talking about now for a while. That's at the Journey Church, 2000 Pike Road, Unit A, Lawmont, Colorado, 80501. And then also I'll be doing another talk in my lab, February 29th, 2020. 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, Colorado at 11 a.m. I'll be going on uh, at noon this Saturday, but you might want to come early. i come by 10 o'clock because uh, there's lots of great stuff you learn at these Super Saturdays. Thank you, Tom. Tom Chenault is just an awesome human being. Some of you guys know him. Uh, and he's an MLM guru, MLM genius. 
I'll see if I can get Tom on the show one of these days. <clears throat> Uh, I've been I've known Tom for 20 years since I started doing longevity back in 1998 for 22 years now I've been doing the longevity business and I can't tell you how many people I've seen helped by the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack and all the various uh, various uh, longevity products I just got this really cool uh, Facebook message I was going to find for you uh, about a gal who just basically changed her life with longevity products I see these all the time though this isn't anything unusual. Uh, if you're on the bubble about longevity, you want to start a business or you want to uh, you want to start a supplement program, you can call 866-735-2470 for info or you can go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. All the products are up as well as a join the team now link that you can click on if you want to uh, start a longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a great business opportunity. All right, we'll get your calls here momentarily. 844-236-6010 is our number. Moms to be, mom to bees, cosmetic chemicals could lead to a heavier baby. It's from Newsday. When pregnant women use cosmetics containing parabens, their children may have a greater likelihood of becoming overweight. Parabens are preservative chemicals. They go into the bloodstream upon topical use. It's not just parabens, folks. Cosmetic chemicals go into the bloodstream over time, especially parabens and preservatives. This is why I never use preservatives in any of my True Skin Health products. This is why everything in my True Skin Health products, all my formulations, can go into the bloodstream. There's nothing toxic in any of my True Skin Health products. I don't believe skin health products, skincare products, should contain toxins that if you drank them, you would die. The average skincare product that you're using today has ingredients in it that will kill you if you drank it. You really want to put that on your skin? And yes, it goes into your blood. Uh, last week, we read a story from JAMA where they showed that one application of a sunscreen will go into your bloodstream. One application, let alone if you're using it every day like you're told to by your medical professionals. We need to be respecting the skin. We need to be respecting our bodies. We need to be respecting our skincare products. And really, it is a question of respect. It is a question of honor, honoring the body. To rub on a skincare product that you bought at the department store without knowing what's in the skincare product, without reading the ingredient deck, without knowing what the ingredients are, is disrespectful. It's disrespectful for us to do it, and it's disrespectful for a company to sell products like that. There's so much disrespect in the beauty business. There's so much disrespect in the cosmetics business. There's so much disrespect in the health business. That's why I started Truth Treatments. Truth Treatments are for people who respect ingredients, who respect products, and who respect skin. So anyway, parabens are not the only ingredient, although a compound called butyl paraben stood out. Kids were twice as likely to be overweight when their mother's prenatal levels of butyl paraben were in the top one third compared to the bottom third. And that's from rubbing the stuff on their skin. All right, let me do one more and we'll get your phone calls. Drugs fail to slow decline in inherited Alzheimer's disease. There's no such thing as inherited Alzheimer's disease, first of all. But according to Dr. Randall Bateman at Washington University, drugs didn't work. Two experimental, two experimental drugs failed to prevent or slow mental decline in a study of people who are destined, this is what they say, destined to develop Alzheimer's disease at a young age. Nobody is destined to develop Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease and all dementias are the sign of a deteriorate, deteriorating brain following bad living. That's what it is. You, you eat a lot of sugar, you don't take your nutritional supplements, you use excitotoxins, etc., etc. You have a lot of stress in your life, you're going to have dementia or something like it. Dr. Bateman says, we actually don't even know what the drugs did in terms of removing the protein. But after five years, the main goal of the study was not met. People on either of the drugs scored about the same in thinking and memory tests as others given placebo treatments. That, that's because you're never going to have a drug for Alzheimer's disease. Put that down in writing. You're never going to have a drug for Alzheimer's disease. And, and it's a serious problem. It's, gonna, it's costing in the hundreds of billions of dollars already. It's going to be costing trillions of dollars in the next 10 years. It's a serious, serious epidemic. And Alzheimer's disease is actually early onset dementia. It's not dementia, but all dementias are a serious health problem. And I don't know what's worse, having your body fall apart and keeping your brain alive or having your brain fall apart and having your body alive. They're both miserable, and you don't want either of them to happen. Use fat-soluble vitamins, number one, especially vitamin E. Use omega fatty acids. Use the minerals zinc and selenium. Make sure you're keeping your sugar down. Make sure you're exercising and then doing brain puzzles, too. 
people who uh, you, you all reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease if you learn a musical learn a new musical instrument if you study a different philosophy if you read different books if you brush your hand with uh, the opposite hand if you're used to brushing your I'm sorry brushing your teeth with the opposite hand if you're used to brushing your teeth with your right hand and then you use your left hand you're going to start to develop more neural connections and reduce your risks of memory and de memory issues and dementias as you get older as we get older we tend to ossify we fossilize I call it old man's disease and, and women get it too old man's disease is when you know everything and you can't be taught anything though I noticed it I, I noticed it in my dad when he got older he knew everything There's nothing he didn't know he knew he knew how you should dress and he knew what your hair should look like and he knew what you should eat and this is what happens when we get older we know everything we become closed-minded and what happens then is our brain ossifies it calcifies it becomes hard it doesn't have the flexibility and the plasticity that it needs to be responsive to the environment. And that's when we start to deteriorate mentally. And there's no drug that's going to help this condition. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to our friend Robert in Nevada. Good morning, Robert. What's up, buddy? Uh, good morning, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I sure. sent you a picture right before. Was that you? Uh, I was wondering. I was yeah. wondering about that picture. What were you trying to tell me? No, you look like a handsome, about, young, uh, handsome young man uh, there, Robert. Oh, thanks for the compliment. We talked yeah. last week, and you said you could look at someone's face. and, and I uh, can, and, uh, but you had your car. Yeah, so. The problem with that picture is there was it's a car. Light. It was in your car, and there was I couldn't see your whole face. I'm trying to pull uh, it up now on my phone. Yeah, you uh, yeah, didn't, it wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't a great picture. Uh, but I can, I can order link. Did you Facebook me or message me? Uh, I, didn't, I, I don't think... Oh, oh ben at ksco.com. That's right. All right. Yeah. You know what? I'm yeah, going to put yeah. you back on hold, Robert, and then I'm going to take another okay. call, and then I'm going to pull up your picture, okay. and then don't go away, though. Okay? Stay on hold. Okay. Actually, no, we got to take right. a commercial break. So we'll get to you when we come back from our break, and then I'll, I'll go over your picture with you, okay? Don't go away. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a commercial break. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Robert in Nevada. Robert, my friend, I got your picture here, buddy. Uh, yes, sir. Between the glasses and the shadow on your neck, it's hard to see, but you do look pretty healthy. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you in your 50s? Yeah, late 50s. I'll be 60 in August. But yeah, you look great, buddy. Ben, you look great. Yeah, you look I great. I appreciate that. But because, you, know, you know what you uh, have? You know what you have in your... Hang on, buddy, just a second. You know what you have on your sure. skin that's, that, that keeps it young and youthful, no wrinkles or anything? Skin looks really nice. Oh. Melanin. You got that oh. beautiful melanin. <laughs> that's the stuff, man. I'm telling you. Melanin is the bomb. <laughs> if you, the more melanin you have, the healthier your skin will be. Yes, go ahead. I guess. I guess. But you so know what else, though, you need? You, Robert, when you have that much melanin... You're not going to get vitamin D from the sun as effectively. So you got to make sure you're getting out yeah. in the sun, and you got to make sure you're focusing on, on getting vitamin D from fatty fish, mushrooms, maybe uh, fish oil. But the sun is the best way. Important stuff, yeah. So the big reason I called you, Ben, was uh, I'm in a pitch battle with high blood pressure, really high, and I'm gotcha. four square off two pharmaceuticals. So I'm on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I try to drink uh, water. I've been doing the Cal Tiny. It's still high. So I was watching uh, Ty Bollinger's docuseries on Detox the other day, and he was saying, and some other experts were agreeing with him, that if your um, intestine, your uh, stomach, et cetera, et cetera, is blocked with undigested food, it can make your heart pump harder, which will make your blood die. Absolutely. So it's I'm not that specific. I full body it's, I can yeah. my blood now, that's well, my process, and I it's not that it. it's not like a one to one relationship like sure. toxicity in the gut or a, or undigested food in the gut lead to blood pressure it's just that undigested food in the gut compromise health which leads to problems with blood sure. pressure so it's not like a one to one relationship you probably have other things going on it, it's definitely a good idea to clean out the gut though by fasting is the best way to do it uh, also maybe uh, things like fiber and magnesium uh, but as far as the blood pressure goes you can drop that blood pressure like a stone with a couple of strategies. Are you on time release niacin? No. Get yourself on time release niacin as soon as possible. That, that alone makes a big difference and also that will help with cholesterol and blood fats. In fact, niacin is one of the Jim best. You know, Young has got a niacin called the ultimate niacin. Take two or three of those a day. Um, okay. It, 
I had a monstrous time release, though. I, and then also okay. magnesium, and, and high doses of magnesium. I'm not really high dose, like 2,000 milligrams, 2,500 milligrams of magnesium can help lower your blood okay. pressure. Of course, you know, right. slow, deep, slow, deep rhythmic breathing, best way to do it. Uh-huh. And then also uh-huh. warm water, baths and warm showers and warm, t- warm, warm baths. I know I said this before, but for anybody who's new listening, if you're on a high blood pressure drug, Take your, or if you have hypertension, and you're, even if you're not on a drug, take your blood pressure with a blood pressure cuff baseline, and then go sit in a warm bath for 10 or 15 minutes and take your blood pressure again. And it's going to drop like, you'll see it's, it drops like a stone. It's incredible what it does. Mm. Just a warm bath. Mm. Nobody can have high blood okay. pressure in a warm bath. All right? Okay. All right, Robert. Be good, buddy. Thank Sounds you for your call. Appreciate Thanks, it. Take Robert. care. All right, man. Uh, let's go to Shirley in Florida. Good morning. What's going on, Shirley? Hi, sweetie. I got two questions. I'll make it quick. First, yes, I used to swim for like 15 years, but I could see that the chlorine was affecting my skin, so I have quit. But I really miss it because I know the benefits are great. If there's anything I can do. Aren't you by and the second, ocean? Aren't you by the uh, ocean? Not, no, not close enough, no. Uh, okay. Um, you know, the ocean The ocean has the salt, and that'll dry your skin out, but at least you don't have to deal with the chlorine. Actually, the right. ocean of Florida is pretty nasty from what I hear. Uh, yeah, do you guys have. Yeah, no, Florida's man. That's a, that's unfortunate. What's going on in Florida with the ocean? You know, there's you can if some hospitals will have uh, uh, ozonated water, ozonated pool. Some pools were ozonated. They don't use chlorine. Chlorine is nasty, nasty, it is. nasty. And as great as yeah. swimming is, it's probably one of the best exercises you could do. Taking a bath in chlorine or soaking your body in chlorine for 20 minutes or half an hour, however long you're swimming, is definitely not a good idea. It's very bad for your skin. It's very pro-aging, not to mention the stuff that you're getting in through your nostrils and your mouth and even through your skin. It's just awful. It's chlorine baths, which is what swimming pools are, are really awful, although swimming is a great exercise. You know, you got to find an ozone, a pool where they use ozone maybe, and I don't know where they do that. It's, a, it's really tough. All right, I'll check it out. And the second question, because it is a bummer, I miss it. There's something called liquid biocell that I've been checking out. I don't it's, buy anything until I hear a lot of stuff. What do you think of it? It's, you know, you don't get enough silica. Liquid biocell is uh, silica. Uh, and let me tell you something. I haven't talked about this in a while, but I'm going to be talking about it. It is one of the most, if not the most important mineral you could take for anti-aging is silica. Uh, it's on the periodic table right underneath carbon. It's a very, very important substance. I shouldn't say silica. I should say silicon. Silica is silicon plus oxygen. There's, there's silica, there's silicon, and there's silicone. And those are three separate ideas. Silica is sil- the element with oxygen. Sand is silica. And also uh, glass is silica. And then there's silicone, which is a synthetic uh, artificial chemical. It's got a whole bunch of stuff attached to it. And then there's the stuff on the periodic table, which is called silica. Silicon, and that's S-I-L-I-C-O-N. And silicon, the element, is unbelievably important for skin, hair, and nails, and for wound healing, and for bones. It's just amazingly important. You get it from veggies to a certain extent, although it's hard for the body to process it from veggies. The best way to get your silicon is from supplements. And the biosil, I'm not sure if that's a homeopathic deal or not. No, is it? it's, a, it's called Modair Liquid Biosil. That, get it. Use it. It's awesome. Okay. If, it's, if it's liquid silicon or silicon gel, silica gel, uh, it's awesome stuff. And I'm a big fan. Okay. I use it every day. I use the Good pharmaceutical deal. stuff, Thanks. though, and I buy it from a pharmacy supplier. It's hard to find. Go ahead. I'm Thank sorry. Thank you. Love your okay. products. We've got to plug Thank- it in here. Bye. Oh, did you, are you using Truth Treatment, Shirley? Yes, I'm using uh, the, the little three pack. And are you an I, esthetician? I, are you an esthetician? Pardon? Are you an esthetician? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, the, I'm the hairdresser, so I'm telling everybody about it because it's awesome. Oh, you're awesome. So you're the friend you, of, um, you're the other lady's friend, somebody I met randomly, and she introduced me to you, right? No, I just, uh, I've been talking to you for a, couple, for a couple of years. I got real, real sick a few years ago, and I've worked my way back with a lot of help from you. Um, oh, nice. And I know you're busy, but yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm doing good. All right, Shirley. Take care. Thanks for the call. Well. Appreciate it. All right. All right, let's go to Don in Georgia. You get the last word, my friend. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, Ben? Doing good. What's going on? Uh, really quick. With the silica, it, it, the um, diatomaceous earth, is that con- 
can did it you know it has so sil- that has silica in it absolutely uh, I'm not sure how readily available it is when the silica is locked up with other minerals it's harder for the body to process it but diamita- diatomaceous earth I haven't talked about that but I use it regularly and it's an awesome supplement uh, but I'm not sure how much silica you actually get because it might be lumped in together um, with the gotcha. other minerals but it, you might get some the, the real benefit okay. of the diatomaceous earth is that it cleans out your intestine yeah, that's what I've been using it for, that with um, the uh, clay. Clay um, will not necessarily clean out your intestine, but uh, clay will get you some minerals. Clay will get you some good minerals. Okay, okay cool. And then could you um, just go over the gut microbiome really quick? Well, I only got 30 seconds here, my friend. I can't go over it in 30 <laughs> seconds. Uh, but let me tell you the highlights of the gut microbiome. You have 10 times more bacterial cells in your body than you do people cells. So an argument can be made, a case can be made, that we are carrying cases for, um, we're just carrying cases for, uh, for bacteria. We're a transport mechanism for the bacteria. The bacteria make vitamins for us. The bacteria digest our food for us. The bacteria clear, clear out toxins for us. The bacteria communicate to our brain and make our brain and nervous system healthy. The bacteria fight fungus. The bacteria are all around are, are our all around health angels, and they're supposed to come into our intestine through through our moms. When we come through the birth canal, we're supposed to get implant. We're supposed to get saturated with bacteria, which go through the nose and the mouth of the baby, and then implant in the gut. If the mom's not healthy, the mom has got digestive problems. If the mom isn't doesn't have enough bacteria, if the if we're born cesarean section, or because breast milk helps support those bacteria, if the baby has not been breastfed, all of these will compromise health for the rest of that baby's life. And I would venture to say that if you're in your 50s or 60s, you are one of those folks that was either born cesarean or you were not breastfed unless you had a very conscious mom who knew what she was doing. If you're in your 50s or 60s or 70s, almost guaranteed that you had a, have a problem at the level of the microbiome that started when you were born, especially if you're dealing with a chronic illness, especially if that chronic illness has been going on long term. So there's a couple things you want to do. Number one, you want to get on a good probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence from Longevity, or you want to... Uh, it, in addition to that, you want to eat fermented foods, especially fermented veggies, and make sure you're using fiber, and uh, also make sure you're using vegetable juices that contain nitrogen, especially celery juice and beet juice, both very rich in nitrogen because the probiotics in the gut love nitrogen, and they hate chlorine, so don't drink tap water because that'll kill those probiotics. Try and drink distilled if you can. Don, I got to go, but thank you for your call. Appreciate it, and that is all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. We'll be back tomorrow, though, with more good health information. I am Pharmacist Ben. Check out our skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and all our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And think about joining the Brightside Ben team. Click on that Join the Team link and join the Brightside Ben team, start a longevity business, and help change the world. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. Friends, have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 